Hi folks, this is Don. I have just finished checking out uh, your feedback that you're not able to open up and copy the data directly into StatCrunch. And I apologize. I had reported this to Pearson last term and they said they would get it fixed and obviously they have not gotten it fixed. But there is a workaround. What you need to do is to open up StatCrunch at statcrunch.com before you start the quiz. Let's show you how to do that. www.statcrunch.com It will take you to the StatCrunch site. And the first time you go there, you will have to sign in and you can use your MyStatLab credentials. And what I would recommend you doing is to go to StatCrunch.com before you start the quiz. Go ahead and sign in and then open up StatCrunch so to have that ready when you uh, get into the quiz. Okay, there's our StatCrunch. Now let's go back to our quiz and here's our data we've got a little icon there and we can open copy to the clipboard and what I found out it's highlighted in in blue there but you need to right click and click on copy then you can click done then I'm going to go back to StatCrunch and just control paste and there I've got my data into StatCrunch and I can go ahead and run the uh, whatever analysis I need to run. So that's what I recommend you doing. Again, what, what I'm recommending is that you start StatCrunch at StatCrunch.com. You use your MyStatLab credentials to log in the first time. And then uh, before you run a quiz, uh, or an exam, go ahead and start StatCrunch.com, open up StatCrunch and get ready. And then you can, again, use the clipboard. Show you one more time. Highlight it in blue. Right click on it and copy. Click done. And you can paste it into your uh, StatCrunch uh, that's open on StatCrunch.com. Again, I apologize that uh, Pearson hasn't gotten this fixed. But um, you can uh, use StatCrunch that way, and it's uh, almost as fast as opening it directly in StatCrunch. So I hope this helps.